Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in the previous lecture, we discussed about how to group the test cases in Cucumber, right? And what are tags in Cucumber, right? And then later on, we discussed about how to run a specific group of test cases in Cucumber. In case you want to take a look on how it is taking place, you can go back to the previous video. And also I'll be sharing the link in the description of playlist so in this session we are going to discuss about how to write the code within the step definitions so far we discussed how to write the feature files then we discussed about how to write the step definitions and we wrote some uh, sample code only now we are going to write the actual code okay related to selenium web driver as we are going to discuss automating the ui application so then we are going to discuss about how to launch our first application using PDD Cucumber along with JUnit. Later on, we will be verifying one after logging into or after providing credentials, then we are logging in and then we are verifying something on the dashboard. So this is what we are going to cover uh, in the session. Okay. So let me jump onto the code side. I have code written, right? So let me show you. So this is this was the test case earlier, right? So what we have done right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it name first test case, right? So that uh, like for the readability purpose only. This is the first test case, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside this. But prior to that, what I have done, I have defined the web driver at the top level, and I have created the constructor of this uh, particular class. So right now, whatever I'm doing, it is a raw code, right? I'm not using the page object model, but step by step, when we will move on, we will make it more segregated and more readable, including the page object model and furthermore uh, packages we are going to add inside this, right? So right now, what I'm doing, I have created constructor of it. So first of when the runner will run, it will load this particular class and it will call the constructor of this, by which what will happen, using this particular line of code this is the driver manager this is some functionality provided by selenium itself right so this is responsible for downloading the chrome driver i believe most of the people are aware on this in case you are not aware i have one video on this i'll be sharing the link for that in, a, in the description okay so then what i'm going going to do after i got the what it, it does actually at high level it downloads the chrome driver corresponding to what we have in our system so we have browser installed in the system corresponding to it it downloads the uh, driver exe at some uh, dot cache location from where like selenium is capable of reading it right so when i write driver equal to new chrome driver so i defined this uh, parameter for uh, this reference variable for web driver now i'm initializing it so now once this constructor got executed right what will happen it will have driver reference right and this is if you go here this is our first step definition so this is what we are doing we got the driver reference and now we are using driver dot get url which is nothing but uh, in this case we launch the browser in this case we are now adding the url so url we are passing from the feature file so we can uh, parameterize or we can pass the data from the feature file there are various ways this is one way and this is second way data table and there is third way as well which is uh, scenario outline which we will be, we'll be discussing later on okay in the upcoming sessions so now uh, if you go here what will happen like after this step got executed because cucumber execute the test case is step by step so first step first this step will be executed so when once uh, this step got executed so uh, the url has got lost now we are supposed to enter the credentials so if you look at it we now will uh, the control will now go here so if you remember we were using table right so data table is a concept which i'll be separately covering so for now you, what you can do i'm converting this table data table in the form of maps right list of map actually when we are using add maps means we are converting it in the form of list of maps string dot class means it its key is string and its value is also string so if you look at it list of map uh, string comma string so if you look at it so this is these are going to work as a key and these are going to work as a value right so let me uh, jump here so what i'm trying to do now using driver dot find element by dot x path what i'm doing so uh, which application i'm taking into the consideration 
this application I'm going to take into the consideration for the automation. So I'm now logging out. So this is the username which I got and then this is the password which I'm uh, using and now I'm clicking on login, right? So, so first of all, I got the username and then I'm passing this username from the feature file, correct? Which I just discussed. Then I'm passing uh, the password as well, right? Secret source. So if you come here, we are able to, we are, or we are managed to uh, enter the username and password. So in the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm clicking on the login button. So if you go here, so what I'm trying to do, I'm finding the location of login button and I'm then clicking on it, right? And the last step is verification, wherein I'm verifying the products on the dashboard. So if you come here, so I have used products here, user verify products on the dashboard. So I got this in the form of string later on. I got this xpath and I'm dynamically creating this xpath. So span text where I'm, wherein I'm providing the text from the feature file itself and I'm verifying whether it is displayed or not. Okay. So now um, in order to run this particular test case because I have changed the uh, tag, what I'm going to do, I'm going to UI customer and I have already provided at the rate first test case. So if I will try now try to run it, so what should happen? It will run that particular test case it will launch the Chrome browser and login into the uh, site and later on it will verify the products tag. Okay, so let us look at this. So it launched, it entered and now it has verified the products as well. So if you see the test uh, are passed, correct? And uh, you see there is no report so far because we are not using any kind of report though you can understand from here and uh, there is no report at all as well so uh, in the next lecture we would be discussing about uh, the reporting part and later on we will be discussing about scenario outline and data table way of passing the data in the bdd so this is uh, pretty much uh, from this session uh, team uh, if you have uh, any questions please uh, feel free to comment in the comment section and uh, I request you to please like share and subscribe so that we reach to the maximum population and we reach to the right audience and we can help each other thank you for now bye